Hi, today we're going to learn how to set tool length offsets on a CNC milling machine. Most modern milling machines have an automatic tool setter, but today we're going to learn how to set them manually. We're going to use what they call negative tool length offsets. So that means when we enter our offsets into our offset page, they will all be negative numbers. So let's get started. So here at the whiteboard, we'll look at setting the tool length offsets. You can see they're in the machine zero position. So what we're going to do when we record the tool length offsets, we're recording from the machine zero position to the top of our one, two, three blocks. We'll be moving the spindle down in the negative tool direction. So all of our offsets will be negative numbers. So you can see here, the longest tool will be minus 10.5 and the shortest tool will have a larger negative number. It has to travel more in the negative direction to contact the one to three blocks. I want to take this time now to talk about the machine zero position or the machine home position. This is where the machine will home against its limit switches. It's a very accurate origin and repeatable. This is why we use it as a reference point for measuring our tool length offsets. As you can see, if we move up in this direction, it would be Z positive, down will be in the Z negative. So as we come down to measure off of our one, two, three blocks, again, the Z position will be a negative number. We're also going to reference off our table, which is very repeatable also. It will not change. So we are using two very repeatable reference points to measure our tool length offsets. Now let's go down to the shop and I'll show you guys how to do it on the CNC equipment. To be setting our tool length offsets, we're going to be using a one, two, three block. It's a very common machine shop item. Another item you can use is a height offsetter. This is a dial type. You can use this. It's very quick and easy to use, but they are expensive and they sometimes can get damaged. So to set our tools, first we're going to have to call up 201. To do that, we're going to go into MDI and enter 201M6. And cycle start. And that will call up our 201. We're going to use this 1, 2, 3 block and we're going to place it onto the table. The reason we're using the table is because it doesn't change. We're going to go hand jog. 10 thou, Z, and we're going to bring down our tool. Do not bring the tool down on top of the 1, 2, 3 block. So we're going to put on our safety glasses. We're going to bring the tool down past the 1, 2, 3 block. As you can see here, I brought the tool down past the 1, 2, 3 block. All right, do not bring the tool down on top of the one, two, three block. I'm going to press it up. I'm on 10 thou increments, which means every time I click it up, it moves up 10 thou. I'm going to push the one, two, three block ever so slightly toward the tool and crank it up until it just slides underneath the tool. Make sure the one, two, three block is away from the part. And I'm gonna click it down one click and push it again, it doesn't go. I'm going to go on 1,000 increments. I'm going to keep clicking it up until it just slides underneath, bring it back out, one click down again, it doesn't go, one click up, it just slides underneath. So now I know my tool is just above my 1, 2, 3 block on the 1,000 increments. To set the tool lengths, we need to be on the tool lengths offset page, which is accessed by this button here labeled offsets. This will cycle between the work offsets and the tool length offsets. So make sure you are on the tool length offset. The other button we'll be using is tool offset measure. So now by hitting the offset button, I highlight the tool length offset page. You can see tool one is highlighted yellow and it says it's in the spindle. So this means this is the active tool. I want to cursor over to tool length. I want to be make sure I'm in geometry and I want to hit the tool offset measure button. It 
and it's going to record that in my tool length. So once I've finished setting my second tool, I will now go through and set all the rest of my tools that I need for the job using the same procedures. And after that, I want to set my work offset position. That would be my G54 or my G55 or so on, whatever number I'm using for the job. And I will be using my tool length offset as a reference. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So now I want to set my work offset. Today I'm going to use G54 as my work offset. So my work offset is the difference from where I set my tools to my part home. Now my part home for this part is the top of this part. I know that I, when I set this tool off of my one, two, three block, that is saved as my tool length offset for tool number one. So I want to compare the difference in the machine home from this position to this position. So now what I want to do is I want to touch off here with paper. I want to get close and I want to switch to 1,000 increments. And I'm going to bring it down. So I feel it just pinch the paper. So now I know my tool is just touching the top of my part. And now I want to check the difference in my machine position. So on this screen I've overlaid our display screens. So you can see when we set our tool off the 1, 2, 3 block, their machine position was this. And now, touching off the top of our part, our current machine position is this number in the Z. So our current machine position is this. Our tool leg position was this. The difference between these two numbers will give us our work offset. If we notice between here and here, we are going up into the positive direction. So our work set offset, the difference between this number and this number is right here. And it is a positive number. So if we were to put a negative number in our work offset, that means our part home would be lower than this one, two, three block, which in this case would give us a big crash. So this number gets entered into our work offset, which is on this screen here. This is cycled between the work offset button. If you hit it twice, it will highlight this page. So I'm currently putting it in G54. This would go in our Z axis and it would be a positive number. So here is a list of resources. The CNC Programming Handbook by Peter Smet is a great textbook to have. The Mill Operator's Manual offered by Haas Automation is free to download. Just go online and you'll find the PDF. When setting your tool length offsets, obviously, the more practice and exposure you get to this, this will give you more confidence and increase your speed at setting your tool lengths. This wraps up my video on setting tool lengths. I hope it helped and good luck.